Hey everyone, Irit here, and today's video, I hope it's a fun one. So this is my special effects curated palette, and I was absolutely inspired by a YouTube channel that I recently discovered. It's called Her Billowing Heart, and it's just so beautiful. So go check her out, show her, show her some love, and she just makes the most beautiful calm videos and she uses these like super pretty vintage supplies and colors and yeah just just go over there and check it out and you'll understand immediately what i mean <laughs> and i was inspired by one of her videos to create this palette i recently uh, in this um, sketchbook my fabriano sketchbook i was using uh, quite a bit of metallic and you know shimmery watercolors and the problem with them is if you get your water contaminated with all that shimmer I, I think it um, makes pretty much everything <laughs> after that shimmery so my idea here here is I still don't know if I'm going to take this with me to travel because it's a little bit um intense <laughs> but if I took this for traveling I would take a water brush to use with this so that I wouldn't contaminate my uh, water container but if you had experience with that with using uh, shimmering colors and let me know if it's really as I suspect it is okay let's get into the colors this is going to be short I'll try to keep up so the first color that I swatched is Daniel Smith pearlescent shimmer and it's just like a shimmer color it's transparent with uh, shimmer so I I don't know yet what I think about it the second one is something I was curious about it's a Rembrandt color they have a few um, chameleon colors that are color shifting honestly I was a little bit disappointed but I'm going to give this one a try and see I think these colors are meant to be layered and I think they probably work really well uh, maybe when you're doing certain animals that have that you know color shift to them I don't know I'm I'm not in love with it but I want to give it a try I can't remember which one I have I'll try to uh, check that and list it below the next one the first gold that you see here is by Holbein gouache actually and it's brilliant gold it does rewet really well which is not something you can say about all gouache paints but this one does the base of it is a little bit transparent, but it has the most kind of glittery, uh, chunky gold that I have come across. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, check that one out. The next one, I'm trying to keep up with myself with uh, poor success, is the rose gold that uh, Zandra here on YouTube sells. It's the most glorious, beautifully formulated rose gold I've ever come across. It's like liquid metal perfection. The next one after that, so third from the right on the top row, is Rachel Beth Rose Gold. Now, I'm sure that a lot of the colors that I'm showing here are not available anymore, but, you know, just keep your eyes open and, um, you know, you could always maybe request a color or see if the uh, owner has one left in stock. So this is really old. It's a few years old. It's called rose gold, but you can see that it's a lot uh, pinkier. It has like a pink base and then kind of um, a bit of a gold shimmer. So I would say the Zandra one is more of a true rose gold. This one is just kind of a rosy color with gold shimmer. The next two on the top row are from Paul Rubens. And I have to give a shout out here to the Paul Rubens 24 shimmery set, which I purchased for my own uh, money. That set has some really, really beautiful shimmery colors. And I did pick a few of my favorites for this uh, palette. So the last two paints on the top row are from that set. And one of them is like this, um, I don't know, just like a bronzy gold. And then the one at the very end is more of a shimmery, cool brown, I would say. Second row, first color on the left is the Daniel Smith Duochrome Autumn Mystery. And this is a really beautiful color. It's kind of beautiful as it is. You can see it's not super intense, but I think it'll be fun for layering. So it's kind of a pale um, golden brown, I would say, with some red shimmer in it or like red mica. 
interesting color. Then the second one is a beautiful color by Little Rainbow Moon. It's called Marigold. It's from a previous kit. Um, yeah, from my experience, these handmade uh, metallic colors really are, usually they're beautifully formulated. Um, not every single one, but for the most part, they are a lot more intense than, for example, the Daniel Smith one, which I think also are meant to be more of like topper colors. So I do think it's worth to shop around for those special colors. Of course, you know, if you run out, then there's no guarantees that you'll be able to restock. But um, yeah, I think they are beautiful and just fun to play with. Okay, moving on. Uh, another, the fourth one from the left is another Paul Rubens color. It's just a beautiful, um, yeah, I don't even know how to describe it. You can see it's kind of a reddish orangey color. Then we have from Daniel Smith, Iridescent Ruby. That's the third one from the right. And then we have two little rainbow moon colors. The purplish one mm, doesn't look so purple on screen, but the second one from the right is called Nightshed. And then the one at the very end, the right end of that middle row or second row is little rainbow moon wishing stone. And it's just this beautiful muted um, kind of dusty blue with a blue shimmer. The nightshade is uh, almost a black with a strong uh, purple shimmer. Okay, last bottom row. The first color is actually from the Prima Vintage Pastels set. And I kind of found that one out in my, you know, the the back of the drawer. It was hiding there. Anyway, that... Um, set has actually really interesting colors if you like those pastel more kind of muted colors they have a set called pastel dreams which I, I think now looking at it i think it's a fun addition to your collection these are not versatile by any means but if you really really like all the shades in it uh, i think it could be yeah a fun addition so this is one of the colors in the vintage um pastels set and it's called dark rose and it actually it dries a lot darker than i thought so it's a bit more intense i wouldn't even call it really a pastel color but i guess if you water it down it would be sorry i just <laughs> inserted the freeze frame because i feel like i'm <laughs> chasing after myself in this video okay moving on the second color is this gorgeous shimmery minty color it's beautiful this is from the paul rubens set surprisingly so if you happen to have the paul rubens set and you're curious about the daniel smith uh, fuchsite color and you don't want to splurge this is even more intense i mean yes the the shimmer is a lot stronger but i think if you water it down a little bit you could get a very very similar effect for you know a fraction of the price if you happen to have this set so i really have to um yeah give credit to paul rubens not sponsored not anything i don't have an affiliate link or anything i'm just really impressed with some of the colors in this set the next one that greenish one is also from the Paul Rubens 24 set. It has a base. The base color is, I don't know, kind of like a very muted grayish brown, I guess. And then there's this kind of intense green shimmer. Now the color that I'm actually swatching is Daniel Smith Iridescent Scarab Red. This one I got because of Aliona and it's actually really beautiful. It's yeah, just this brownish red with uh, a brown shimmer, I want to say. Really, really lovely. Next one is one of my um, favorite in this palette. This is by Little Rainbow Moon. And the color is called Willow. I don't know if you're familiar with like makeup, but this is, I think it's the same pigment that is used for that kind of a cool brown eyeshadow that shifts to um, blue. And I have... Uh, that from I think from Colourpop or something like that and I used to have one from MAC <laughs> I love this kind of pigment and I think that's what you know she used or something similar in her willow color it's just beautiful so kind of a brown with that blue shimmery shift and the last two colors are surprise surprise again from the Paul Rubens set the one that I just swatched is uh, kind of a, a mauve a muted mauve dark color 
with a lot of sparkle. And then the last one is kind of like a gray, silvery color. So some of these have more of um, like a sparkle to them. Some are more shimmery. The um, rose gold is completely, completely like metallic. And yeah, I, I'm looking forward. This is kind of an experiment. I want to see if I use them more like this. I think it's really easy to just reach for this palette for all that sparkle. I also put it in the Jane Davenport. She had a set that came in a gold tin. So I put it in a gold tin, which I think will just make it really, really easy to recognize amongst all my um, other tins. And yeah, I just want to see if I can get more use out of them like this. So thank you again to her billowing heart for the inspiration. Again, make sure you check her channel because she's just lovely and you might be enabled. <laughs> so be warned. <laughs> thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you have, you know, what's your favorite shimmery, sparkly colors and how do you get that, you know, pop of glitter in your watercolors or do you prefer the flat look which I can totally get behind I'm very fickle <laughs> like with everything it seems when it comes to art supplies so yeah thanks again for watching and I'll see you in another video soon bye